Some people are turning to non-traditional methods to battle the cold and flu, like taking herbs or using IV therapy. News Channel H Jamel Lene joins us now live from Pinellas County, where uh, several of these places, and you've been to some of them, are offering these alternatives. Mm -hmm. Oh, good evening to you, Jen. Yeah, a lot of these patients that I spoke to said they are not comfortable with taking prescribed medications, and they swear that these non-traditional methods work. Karina Bacallier prefers chicken soup to battle the cold and flu, but not the kind you eat. I just try to do a maintenance at, at least once a month, but I try to come in every couple weeks um, to get the IV done. She's been coming to see Dr. Les Cole at Vital Solutions for IV therapy for the last two years. She hasn't had a cold since. <laughs> Dr. Cole says this cold and flu season has brought more patients in looking for an alternative over medicine. He says IV therapy helps with the early stages of a cold. The IV contains a number of different nutrients. Um, one of the more important ones is vitamin C. And they may have symptoms for a day or two, but then they all clear up. And it's not just IV therapy that has become popular to battle the flu. People are also taking more herbs like elderberry. It's generally considered safe. It's well known for children as well as adults. Bob Lindy at Acupuncture and Herbal Therapies says elderberry can help break a fever and can also be effective for respiratory infections. Lindy tells me acupuncture is also a good way to break a cold. We can drop a fever really fast with the acupuncture and it helps when you have that just chronic cough that's just causing pain. But Collier is doing what she can to stay healthy. It's kind of scary um, to see, you know, people passing away from this epidemic. And while Cole and Lindy, they tell me both these treatments, these treatments are popular. Even if, though, you have some type of symptoms that are more severe, uh, they will advise that you do get a prescription instead of trying these non-traditional methods. Jen? Prevention is key, too. Wash your hands. Don't go to work when you're sick. We keep giving people the advice. Jamel and A, live in Pinellas County for us. Thank you so much.